All right. So in this video, we're going to be checking out one of the other toys on the farm. If you guys haven't seen this tractor in a long time, it's because it hasn't been here. And I finally brought it to the farm so we can hang out with it and do some cool, fun stuff. For those of you who've never seen it before, for those of you who are wondering what in the world is Jack talking about now, you haven't been paying attention, have you? So I've got a bunch of little tractors. Uh, we did a few John Deere's. We did a turbo diesel John Deere. We've got some Cub Cadets, old ones, 60s, 102s. Um, and we've got this. This was the one that started the, the whole whatever you want to call it. Um, I built this originally to compete with Rudnick and Marcus because we were doing like a, uh, a, a pull, like a tractor pull. <laughs> <laughs> and it was fun. We pulled each other. We pulled some trucks. We, we had some fun. Uh, this one is a little bit over the top because you guys know, don't like to lose. I had to do something crazy. Well, not crazy, but I had to do something to win. So first off, we put some aggressive tires on it. No, it's not four-wheel drive. I know it's not supposed to have those on the front, but I thought it looked cool, and that's why they're there. These are functional. And the first thing we had to do was basically gut the whole rear end of this and weld it solid so it's got a solid rear now uh well it still has the guts of the some of the guts of the uh differential but they're welded solid so it's posi traction if you will i also welded on some wheel adapters the, the factory setup uses a key that's not strong enough come on so i welded straight on some some wheel adapters and these are go-kart wheels that we put these turf tire not turf these super lug wheel uh, tires on so uh, aside from that we put, th put this beefy hitch on the back that ties it from two different angles so it, i mean this thing's just this is gonna rip the metal before it bends and uh and it shows i was able to pull some really strong stuff with it cut a shovel up and made a seat easy self-explanatory and it works because it's got springs still so it's kind of comfy, not too bad. Under here, we went ahead and we re the whole thing because you guys know they're slow from the factory. So we put a small pulley in the back and a bigger pulley up front. Stock locations, belt is a little bit, I can't remember if it was shorter or not. It might be the right same length. But anyway, it, uh, it handles it. Did an idler pulley right here, you can see I had to, do a little bit of modification to make it all fit, right? But the main guts of all this was a hand-me-down motor because the factory motor was a 14 and a half horsepower, as you can see, uh, and it was not enough, as you guys know. So in true HP Logic fashion, our buddy uh, Heath over at LOX DCE, he had a he had a throwaway mower and he was like dude i'll bring it by so he came by the farm dropped it off and the motor that was in it check this bad boy out oh yeah old school briggs opposed so it's a opposed two cylinder 18 horsepower twin as you can see really cool i love these old motors they're air cooled they're flathead this is the essence of old school right here love it if you got one of these you got a gem take care of it make it work right they're noisy they're old they're cranky they're just badass old motors and uh i put a stack on this as you can see for the exhaust but i'm not happy with how this thing is like angled and all this it's got like bends and stuff and i got a flap on it but i want to build a new stack so that's what i'm going to do today i'm going to take this one off that's held on with a hose clamp believe it or not and uh i'm gonna i'm gonna weld up something nicer something a little more permanent something a little more appropriate so let's go ahead take that off and see what i can come up with but cool tractor huh so this pipe comes right off i don't even remember what this was i think it was part of a roll cage or something so we can still put used parts of it though, the flapper and stuff. This pipe is stainless, nice tubing. This is not, but whatever. 
Uh, and I just gotta trim this to fit so that it's got the right length, but it's a perfect snug fit. So, we're gonna have to take a little bit off of this. I'll probably take about two inches or so off just to get this a little bit closer. And then we'll do something for this part, if anything. It doesn't need much. So first thing let's do is trim that with our handy dandy tubing cutter. If you don't have one of these, get yourself one. They're worth it. For cutting small tubing like this, it makes a huge difference. You can find a good length to cut it to. I'm gonna take off about yay much. <laughs> that's a that's a very accurate uh, measurement for those of you who are wondering it's a extremely accurate yay much right there and you just start to tighten it and rotate it at the same time a little bit at a time and it starts to cut its way into the pipe and again this is stainless steel just to give you an example of how good these work so we're making a rotation tighten it a little more make a rotation Keep tightening. You'll see this eventually cut all the way through with not much effort, considering. There we go, we're about to cut through now. That's it. And it leaves you with a beautiful straight cut that you don't have to worry about really trimming up. We'll just take a little bit of this flashing off if you want. But anyway, let's see now what it looks like. All right, so we've got a good fitment here. And you can see we've got some nice area. We're gonna put a couple of tack welds on here. I'm not gonna go, go too crazy. Make sure it's nice and straight, kind of both directions, iffy, but it works. Now you guys, when you're welding around small inches like this, be careful, make sure you have no fuel leaks. Very important. I've got a fire extinguisher right there as well, just in case. Welding on vehicles is dangerous. I'm gonna tell you that right now, but if you're careful and you know that there's no fuel leaks or anything there for sparks to touch, you should be okay. Just be careful. In other words, don't try this at home. Nice and solid. Couple more tacks, we'll finish it up, and then we're ready to try it. All right, here it is. The finished product. The big old stack the tractor stack with the flap no we don't play around so i welded on an extra length of pipe there this is all fully welded now not going anywhere you don't have to worry about any janky clamps let's go ahead and start it up it's raining so we're not going to be able to do much tractoring but <laughs> we'll start it up anyway and see how how it sounds Loving it. And this deflects the exhaust that way as well, so it keeps it out of your face while you're sitting in the seat. That's so cool. <laughs> this noisy thing. What a great motor. Cool, old school stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoy this stuff because I sure as hell do. And uh, I'm gonna get this thing out after the rain stops and go drag the arena or something with it. Just have some fun. Let me know what you guys have. Let me know what you think. You got a little tractor. I want to see it. I'm into these. You guys know that. So. If you've got a lawn tractor that you're happy and you hang out with it and have a lot of fun with it and do all kinds of cool stuff, mud mower, whatever you want to call it, let me know. I want to see it. I want to see what you got. These things are cheap. I got this thing for a hundred bucks. The motor was a hand-me-down. I've got maybe, maybe 300 bucks in this whole thing with tires and all. So uh, you can have some real serious fun with one of these. You don't have to do any all this stuff that I did either. You can just get one swap the pulleys and just go to town it's fun these things are fun if you're into 
cool little go-karts and stuff like that, you're missing out if you don't have one of these. So let me know what you got. Leave it in the comments. Leave me a link if you've got a video of yours out there having fun. I want to see it. I follow a couple people's uh, YouTubes that I know of are, are into these. Uh, that There's a guy, Chud something, I can't remember his name. And uh, just a, a bunch of the, the, the channels out there that have some fun with these mowers. And I'm one of those guys. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know if you've got one of these.